Hey guys, it's Julie from Southern Pride Designs. I just want to do a quick video today to show you how I line up my graphics on my Yeti tumblers when I am engraving them with my catalog laser. Um, because when you are engraving on a Yeti, obviously they already have their logo engraved on it. And you don't want your image to be off center or um, crooked when you're engraving it. So especially if you're doing both sides. You still want it to be centered even over the raised logo that they have on here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do that. I have this cup that I'm getting ready to engrave with an image. Um, my image is four inches wide. Um, when you are setting up your graphic, and I set mine up in Illustrator, you might use a different program. Um, but when I set mine up in Illustrator, I always make sure that it is an even number so I can easily um, mark that out on my cup. So I want it to be four inches, three and a half, two and a half, um, whatever, but I always want it to be an even number. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, so you want to measure how big your Yeti symbol is on them. Um, some of the cups are different and the engraved logo is one and a half inches. The raised image on the back is an inch and three quarters. And I just use this um, flimsy ruler, a fabric ruler that I got in a, like a um, repair kit, a selling repair kit. Um, and they come separate and I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Super great investment. I need like 10 more of them. I use it all the time. It doesn't even roll in all the time because it just, it doesn't have the little thing at the end. Anyway, focus. Okay, so if I'm putting it on the side with the engraved Yeti, then I know I want it to be four inches, so I want it to be even. So usually, so for that, I would do an inch and a quarter on this side and it'll be an inch and a quarter on that side. So you'll have that the you'll have it at the two and three quarters mark, and that'll be an inch and a quarter on that side, and then you're gonna have an inch and a quarter there. So that will make it centered. And I just take my marker and I make a mark where it's gonna go, and then I go up and I make one at the top. So I can light, light, line up my laser. And I understand that everybody has their different ways of doing it. I just figured I would share the easiest way that I have found to line up the cups. Um, if you're new to this, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video and, and help any newbies or newcomers out and small businesses, we're all in this together, right? When I put it in the laser, I now have my mark, so I just want to line it up so that my um, red dot is on my mark. And I know that that is going to engrave exactly where I want it. So uh, this is my image that I have set up on um, Illustrator, and like I said, I set it to four inches, obviously it says height because it is sideways to go on the tumbler. Um, and then I will just send it to the printer with the laser. And it's all done. Now, um, I just have to wipe it down with some LA Awesome. This spray is amazing when you're engraving to get the little bit of residue off. Um, I highly recommend it. I get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar for one of these. 
and um, you can't beat it. Like, ow. I hope this helped you. I hope you learned something new. Please show us a little support. Um, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment below if you have anything you'd like to share, any comments or any questions uh, about laser engraving. Um, we use the Apolog Laser, the Mini um, 24, and I absolutely love it. It's been the best investment we've made with our business um, and it's just continuing to grow. So if that's something that you can invest in, totally do it. These people are awesome. They will help you with customer service at a drop of a dime. Um, also, um, subscribe, hit the little bell so you can see new videos. Um, it really helps us and it allows us to make more videos and continue doing what we love and we love sharing um, what we've learned with you guys. So thank you again and we'll see you on the next one.